This week, Senator, we saw one of your priority bills that you've introduced several of the last few years, and that's Senate Bill this year in the form of Senate Bill 34. Yes, yeah, Senate Bill 34 is my bill, and I got it passed out of the Senate last year. It did not get out of the House for what reason, I don't know, but I'm sure the governor would not have signed it, former governor. So things have a way about working out. We got it passed early this year, semi-early. We're almost half done up here. It's semi-early out of the Senate. Had lots of good discussion on it. Amended the bill a little bit on the floor and basically got it done. So that was a really big deal for me. And it may not be a huge thing, but basically Senate Bill 34 is against illegal re-entry in the United States. Doesn't deal with immigration law directly, but the bill says if you've been in the United States illegally and snuck across the border and then were deported and came back and somewhere along the line, you've committed a violent felony or abuse or assault. And I did add to protect senior citizens embezzlement that you shall serve three to 10 years in Missouri Penitentiary. And I really couldn't believe anybody could vote against it. It surprised me because we're really protecting immigrants and I want to see keep them from getting black eyes. Anytime something happens with an illegal, then it affects the entire community. Then everybody's, oh, you ought to ship this minority back or that minority back. No, there's lots of good people here. But I really do. I think it's really a good bill for them. But we said people disagree and defending people that have committed violent felonies. That just kind of blows my mind, but had a couple of the minority party vote with me and tell me it's a good bill. They liked it. Ended up getting 26 out of 33 votes on it. So I think that was a pretty good head count for me. You had mentioned when you presented the bill on the floor that there was one change made this year versus what was done last year. What was the difference between those two bills? The main difference there was we changed it to violent felony instead of just a felony. That was the main thing because some felonies are somewhat easy and they don't really affect anybody. And so I compromised on that to make sure we get the bill passed. And that gave me some votes from the minority party. The individual did it, said I can talk five minutes on the bill or I can talk a number of hours on it. So we sat down and talked and agreed to this. And I added the theft and the embezzlement in there. I definitely wanted that. And he kind of wanted to back off on the drug thing. And I said, no, that's a priority. And so that shall stay in there. I think the main thing he wanted, if someone smoked marijuana, it wasn't a big deal. But I would not agree the fact they had to, if they came over selling it, no, they were going to go to prison if they come into Missouri. So there's been some talk about it's unconstitutional. I had three lawyers look at it last year, immigration lawyers, and they did not think it was. We're not really dealing with immigration laws. We're just saying if you broke the law twice and come to Missouri and it has some type of felony on your record where you've done it in California or whether you've done it in New York, or whether you did it in Missouri, you shall be arrested and taken to court and the charges shall be a penalty up to three to ten years. And the problem is we've had, I think there's over three million people deported, but it's just a revolving door and they turn around, come back, come back, come back. Last year when this bill came up, we had the gentleman at Montgomery City was killed by the illegal who came out of Kansas, but he'd been arrested in Missouri twice. And, you know, they arrest him, turn him over to immigration authorities, and they turn around and take him down the border, and they turn around and come back, or they turn him loose. And so I think there's been 124 murders committed by people that have committed felonies, been deported from two to 20 times. And so sometimes the federal government can't do things, and I think we have to step up. And at this point, they're doing a lot better, but still we can protect our citizens. Another bill on its way, a Senate bill on its way to the House is Senate Bill 66, which I believe relates to some of the tort reform measures that are trying to undo the court decision from seven years ago. That's exactly right. And this session has been a lot about jobs, about legal reform and protecting citizens and businesses to build jobs in Missouri. And Senate Bill 66 will help do that. It just basically says that you cannot permanently draw a temporary disability. And uh, people draw it for years and years and years as far as the temporary disability. If you're not going to get any better, then it's permanent. And then you reach the settlement that away. So that was the main purpose of the bill. It's going to be good for everybody. I had some input, had some decent amendments from the minority party, and they were satisfied. And after a number of hours, they sat down and we got it worked out.